Well, today truly is a day of celebration. And before I get into this hilarious GameSpot journalist who allegedly stalked a critic's mom and contacted them on Facebook, I want to let you know exclusivelygames.com is launching our official grand opening giveaway. I'm going to leave a link in the description below as well as tweet it on social media repeatedly over the next few days. It costs nothing to enter, and this is only to raise awareness for exclusivelygames.com. I will be giving away three consoles, which will be basically be paid out in a $300 Amazon gift card, but, you know, um, 10 video games, brand new video games, $60 max of your choice, and $30 Amazon gift cards, 10 winners. So 10 people can get almost any game that isn't brand new. 10 people can get a brand new video game. Three people can get a brand new console. Now to enter, all you have to do is log in or use your email and it gives you a bunch of ways to actually get in and enter. So obviously you can enter for free, but you can also get extra entries by leaving a review on exclusivelygames.com. You can get extra entries to subscribing for subscribing to the Exclusively Games YouTube. You can get extra entries for um, leaving comments. Uh, in the Exclusively Games forum, and you can get up to 10 extra entries simply by sharing it on social media. So you can get a ton of entries if you take the time, you cruise the website, and you share on social media. So follow the link in the description below. I'm excited to officially open up ExclusivelyGames.com. Now, before I get into this story, I want to pose a hypothetical for you. If I were to post a screenshot, that a woman uh, who, let's say I had posted a screenshot bragging that I stalked somebody's mother on Facebook and, and reached out to them, sent them a message, and tattled on their alleged son for issuing some criticism. Imagine how the media would paint me, okay? Now... GameSpot editor Kelly Plague has posted this screenshot this morning to the internet's celebration. This is disgusting behavior, to be honest with you. This is uh, cyber stalking. This is in a form doxing, although they did block out the name. This is, well, not really doxing, but it's at minimum stalking. It is creepy. Imagine if I had found went and found Kelly Plague's mother on Facebook and sent her a message saying, do you know what your daughter's up to? How do you think the game's media would treat me? But we can look at, this guy sent me hate on Facebook, so I told his mom on him. She was really nice about it. By the way, I'll take things that never happened for 500, um, but let's go on. Ryan something says, hey, you st blah, blah, blah. Can you ever learn to shut your blah, 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 blah? Not cool. Okay. If it happened. If it happened. If it wasn't. Com now, we know, by the way, that it would be exceedingly easy to fake these messages. Create a fake Facebook account. Send the message to yourself. Collect internet virtue. This is something that we see um, the far left games media do all the time. Uh, I don't want to say um, that it's an exclusively uh, female reporter thing or female or uh, you know anybody, but you don't see men doing this from what I can see. Well, I'll just put it that way. Um, and so GameSpot editor Kelly Plague finds this guy's mother sends a message sending it to Suzanne. I guess a light docs because you could find Ryan and then find Suzanne, right? You could probably figure it out. To which, and and she put her picture on here. So she did dox her. So here she put her picture and her name. I'm so sorry. He is 37 years old and I'm going after him. He differently has problems. I will straighten him out. Now, I find this highly unlikely. The amount of misspellings 
that you see, this is written like a teenager. This is not written like a 37-year-old man, all right? That much to me seems scripted. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know a lot of 37-year-olds that talk like this. Also, typos in the mother's reply. I am sorry he is 37 years old and I'm going after him. It's not even English. Also, why would the mother refer to her son by exactly how old he is? That seems odd. Now, I've had people stalk my family on Facebook. You know what they do when people send them messages? Block them. They don't interact with them. Now, Kaylee conveniently leaves off anything she said. Oh, hello. You don't know who I am, but your son does. I thought you might want to know that these are the kinds of messages he sends to women. By the way, what's the difference if it's a man or a woman? What was said is not okay. But, of course, she views herself as a victim, so whatever. He doesn't agree with. He sent this to me because I wrote a review of a video game. Uh, that is a lie. Uh, if you are going to play the victim, at least tell the truth. You are receiving criticism because you clearly tanked the review of a video game because you didn't like the politics. You did not write a sufficient defense of why you gave Days Gone a 5. Everyone knows the game's not perfect, but you did not defend your 5. Uh, but you let it slip on social media that you had a problem with all the zombies being white. You had a problem with Deacon looking at enjoying his wife's bottom. Okay? So to be clear, this GameSpot journalist basically stalked down a man's mother, put her name and face on the internet to win internet backpats, something that I believe probably is fabricated. At worst, Kelly Plague fabricated this for internet backpats, something I would entirely expect the ethical games journalism field to do. At worst, she has put the name and face of a woman who had nothing to do with this on the internet. Anybody could now easily find Suzanne, based on her picture and her Facebook and her connection with this Ryan, and you see his picture. But Kelly Plague doesn't care to throw what? It, by her definition, another woman under the bus. And, of course, you have, you know, the proud uh, circle of pathetic humans calling this out. Nobody's calling her out for doxing this woman. Notice how everyone's obsessing over the guy's age. Again, I don't believe these messages are true. I simply do not. I believe Kaylee, in my opinion, is lying. Based on the verbiage used, this person is highly unlikely to be 37. Now, what this person did, sending the message to Suzanne, I, or Suzanne, Kaylee, I disavow. But what Kaylee did is just as bad. Now sending the entire internet of white knights after, what, exposing Suzanne's name and face to the internet. Didn't bother blocking that out, did you? It is my belief that this is fabricated. But if it isn't, I am curious if what GameSpot, if this is what GameSpot editors do in their free time. Stock and docs the moms of people that send them mean things on the internet. Could you imagine? Just imagine for a second. By the way, if you haven't, uh, I would always, I always appreciate when you crush that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below because I'm curious of what you think. Could you imagine if I did this? If I took some of the random hate that I get, which I get it all the time, but you don't see me whining about it on the internet, okay? And then instead of responding to these articles, people directly, I post their mom's face and name on the internet. How do you think people would react to that? Do you think the internet would applaud me? Do you think the internet would be retweeting me and, and telling me how stunning and brave I am? 
I don't think that's how it goes, but there's a second different set of standards when you're Kelly Plague reviews editor at GameSpot, apparently. Apparently, doxing somebody's mother is cool and something to be celebrated for 18,000 people. At worst, this was a lie. At best, this is some seriously creepy behavior.